No, you're serious? Do you think that Hemingway Well, apart from his books, was known only for drinking a lot? Well, yeah. And he was also an avid caliber. Yes, that's right. It. It's true. He had 57 cats. <laughs> <laughs> So, who do you think he is? The author of The Old Man in the Sea? Hmm? Petro? Well, he lived in Cuba. Yes. Wrote books. Mm. A Cuban writer. <laughs> well done. And he also fought in the war. He assisted matadors boxed. He hunted lions and sharks. It is unlikely that he will write about something he doesn't understand and does not feel. So tell me now. Who is he? The author of The Old Man and the Sea? Hmm? An avid lover of cats and booze? <laughs> he is a true man. Hmm. By the way, that's a good question. Who is a true man? Well... He should be handsome, wealthy, and successful. <laughs> and for you, Vera? What do I think? Mm-hmm. I don't even know. I stopped idealizing men a long time ago. Oh, I will say it this way. Every woman chooses her man according to one simple criterion. Which one? Whether she wants to have a child with him. If a woman sees that a man is ready to become a father to her children, this is a decisive factor. So back to Hemingway. His hero goes forward against all odds. He climbs mountains. He swims in storms. He smokes. He drinks. He is not some weakling who <clears throat> can't lift a backpack. Actually, uh... it's cool. Adrenaline, whiskey, a knitted sweater. I'm so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't accept drunkenness. What, what if I'm a writer at heart? Only cats. <laughs> you were behaving unacceptably. Was it a literature class or a stand-up comedy act? I didn't know that a sense of humor is a bad thing. You approved of drinking in front of your students. God forbid. I also condemn Hemingway. How could he ever... Vera, please don't be rude to us. You're taking on too much. You deviate from the program... You fall into some unnecessary reflections. I'm just teaching kids to think, not to memorize a textbook. Don't you think their discipline has deteriorated? They consider you a friend there. Maybe you're even friends with them on social media? Yeah, I'm friends with him. Their likes do not affect the grades, Mr. Fadir. As far as I know, Vera, this is not the first time you've done this. There's already a lot of gossip going what around gossip? the school. It was just a regular lesson. That's right. It's become a habit for you. The norm of behavior. But you must understand that education is based on the fact that a teacher is simply a translator of knowledge. And students have to perceive this knowledge. What about Confucius? What about Confucius? What? He said, tell me and I'll forget. Show me and I'll remember something. Engage me and I'll understand. Education is about cooperation. And you, excuse me, are stuck in the past. I would like to ask for more respect for us. Oh, Vera, I see that you have not only forgotten how to communicate with your students. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I hope you will take our comments into consideration. We do not need promiscuity in the team. You have brought the students to this. Your students call you Vera. Thank you, Miss Marina. Yes, Mom, what's wrong with it? What's wrong? There should be a distance between the student and the teacher. I have never allowed myself to do that. And neither will you. I mean it. Okay. It won't happen again. Good. Because Marina is worried about you. You broke away from the teaching staff. 
I'll fix it. I promise. Do you remember about the school director's birthday? Tonight at the restaurant at 7. Mom, I saw him and I don't remember him inviting Marina said everyone's invited. But you didn't listen as usual. <sighs> Mom, I don't want to go. We had a unpleasant conversation. Because today. of this conversation, you will go and apologize. Put on the green suit. It doesn't suit everything me. suits you. <sighs> yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks. Happy Thanks. birthday. Please, the microphone. One, two. Friends, I want to thank you all sincerely for a wonderful evening. I'm very glad that our school has such a friendly team. We're like one big family. You know, I really appreciate it. This is Speaking of family, it means so where is his wife? She must be on a business trip Believe again. Me, it must, must be harder her age. Years. Airplanes, and I'm hotels. Sure that every student of our school feels all your love, attention, care. If you want to be a deputy director of the Department of Science I and Education, you will love hotels and airplanes. I will airplanes. say that you are all doing a great job. So, my dear colleagues, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Keep it <Yeah>. up. Keep it up. And you too. Mr. Fredier, I'd like to apologize. Today I was... I'm very glad, Mira, that you understand everything. Uh, of yeah. course. I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not a good dancer. <laughs> I know. Isn't it amazing? I have long <laughs> dreamed of dancing with such a young, beautiful girl. Uh I apologize again. Maybe you're right. I should reconsider my attitude towards the students. Vera. You look wonderful. You look so good in green. What a shame. Restaurant manager is waiting for you. Oh, I know. Who's waiting? Yeah, for what? Great. You will see. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure it's me they're waiting for? Yes. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Mr. Fredier? Has something happened? Did you call me? Yes, Vera. Come in. We need to talk. I've been wanting to tell you for a long time. You're beautiful. You're a beautiful flower. You can feel this flare between us, can't you? I noticed it a long time ago. All the male teachers at our school are not worthy of you. But with me, it will be sorry. different. I'm sorry. I don't understand. But I understand everything uh, Mr. perfectly. Mr. Fredier! Mr. Fredier! We both need it, my Stop friend. it! Stop You'll it! You'll be mine anyway. You bitch. Don't come near me. I'll kill you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, you shouldn't have. Go. Go.
did he go? It's fine, Mom. Good night. I will not resign voluntarily. That's a waste. It was a good offer. I can say that it was a helping hand. Friendly advice. But I like working there. I love my school, my students. Well, who else do you love there? You've got it all wrong. I had nothing with your husband and would not have. For me, married men are taboo. Stop it. Who makes excuses blames himself. Do you remember where that comes from? Stenda, red and black. At least you know your subject. Lata, take the class logbook to the teacher's lounge. Okay. Vera, for three whole minutes. It's not a reason for dismissal. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Stendhal, by the way, was a materialist and atheist. Do you know what he said? God can only be forgiven for not existing. And Nietzsche immediately died of envy that he did not invent it. <laughs> His real name was Henry Bill. By the way, he was friends with Byron. They were even somewhat similar. Both daring, so brave, so independent. Excuse the intrusion, Ms. Vera. This is the Distinguished Committee from the City's Education Department. Children, take a seat. The Commission from the Education Department wants to be present in your class. Do you mind? Mm, of course not. Come in, please. Please do. Continue the lesson. Stendhal. Do you know what he hated the most? Meanness. Vile people are pitiful, miserable. They don't give a damn about morality. <sighs> Adultery is something they do all the time. <sighs> As for love, for Stendhal, it's passion associated with risk. Only truly courageous and passionate people are capable of such a feeling. And the worst sin is to betray this love. That's all for today. The lesson's over. Already? What? Did she say that? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, guys, it's weird. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is it? Statements. These statements are from 10 parents of students in your class. They are not satisfied with you as a teacher and demand you to be removed. They think that you, Vera, are teaching their children the wrong things. The children have become uncontrollable. They talk about sensitive topics, consider themselves adults, argue, we warned you, Vera. Okay. I will write a letter of resignation, but you, Fadir, are a cowardly bastard. Vera! Hello. Hi. So, I decided to come to 
talk. Talk about what? I'm sorry, but I can't invite you into the house. Oh, no, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Vera, you've been treated unfairly. You are a wonderful teacher. And I... I feel like an asshole for letting this happen. My Kahlo, it's not your fault. What's the story with the director? As usual, I was wrong about a person. Uh-huh. So, just gossip. Do I have to justify myself? No, no you don't. I believe you. I've always trusted you. Thank you. His teacher went on a maternity leave. A place became available. I'm going to work tomorrow. Mom, why aren't you talking? Are you happy? Will your pass not interfere with your work? No, Mom. He has had a different life for a long time. Look, you press. Hello, children. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Please have a seat. My name is Vera. I'm your new foreign literature teacher. Wow, teacher. Nice. <laughs> What's so funny about my appearance? You are just too good for a teacher. Are we going to discuss my appearance? What's there to discuss? You're a very beautiful woman. Thank you, I'm flattered. But this is not a beauty contest. Don't you like compliments? I don't like being interrupted. So get used to it. We have freedom of speech here. Yeah, we're a very progressive school. <laughs> <laughs> well, has your progressive community learned to read yet? No, no. we haven't forgotten how to read. Stefan Zvig. Zweig. Stefan Zweig. Let's talk about his life and work. Here we go. You were communicating normally. Vera... Sorry, Ms. what's your Vera. name? Igor. Igor. Nice to meet you. Please look at the board. I realize that this is a random set of letters for you. <laughs> <laughs> but he is my favorite writer. Only he could write about love like that. He feels a woman's soul. I'm sure many of you will find answers to your questions. Have you found the answers? Yes. There was a time in my life when I was about your age. And I was hurt. It was why who helped me come to my senses. So, Stefan Zweig, author of plays, novels, poems, <sighs> author of fictionalized biographies. Meanwhile, Igor is Googling the phrase fictionalized biographies. <laughs> We're going to talk about Zweig's short story, Confusion of the Senses. Yes, Igor, that's exactly what you're feeling right now. <laughs> By the way, do you know how Stefan Zweig passed away? He drank a poison with his wife, and they died holding hands. Thank you. Okay. Ira. You? Do you work here? I take it Mikhailo didn't tell you anything. Yes, I work here now. 
What do you do here? Head of educational activities. What class did he give you? 11th A. My daughter, Christina, is in there. I haven't had time to meet everyone yet. To be honest with you, I don't really understand how we will work together. Do you doubt my competence as a teacher? I doubt your integrity as a woman. I thought this was your sore spot. Don't forget that I'm the only one who knows the truth about you. Are you threatening me? You swore an oath. Do you want to know who else has sworn an oath? Michaelo, he swore an oath to me. He took his wedding vows. If he breaks his vows because of you, I won't be silent either. Just keep that in mind. Guess who I just met in the teacher's lounge? Hint, the first letter is V. So you've met her? We met. Thanks for the surprise. Didn't you think to consult me? Your wife? Why should I consult you? Ira, I'm the director. It's my decision. Besides, Vera helped us out a lot. It's almost impossible to find a good available teacher in the middle of the school year. You could search for... I've been looking. There are no teachers at the level of our school. Is she at the level of our school? You know she has an excellent level of skills. Do I need to worry about anything? Ira. It's all long gone. You're nervous for nothing. Okay. I'll let it be. Don't be late tonight. We're having patties for dinner. Study. Miss Vera, can I walk you home? Oh my, did you remember I'm your teacher? <laughs> we got off on the wrong foot. Oh. I made a mistake. I got carried away. I promised to make it right. The apology is accepted, but I do not tolerate rudeness. Bukowski would argue with you. I'm not a rude person. I'm a rebel and a romantic. The yes. last one? Mm, who's the last one? I don't understand. The last romantic. Yes, write it down. No, the three comrades to be read. Urgent. Got it. Let's start today. I'm glad I was wrong about you. I thought you were arrogant and empty. I wanted to say I'm full, but that would sound stupid too. Friend Balzac. By the way, Balzac is the closest of the writers to me. There's a love of mature women. I understand that very well. So, Balzac? Did you know that Balzac used mature women as a... source of information? Yeah, he studied the psychology of women and then used it in his novels. That's an interesting version.
Thank you for walking me home. It was very interesting to talk to you. Same here. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. student walk you home? Yes, what's the big deal? Mom, we were just talking. He's a very nice boy. So are you seeing your students now? I'm not seeing anyone. I remembered the distance. It's good that you remember. Otherwise, you'll be fired again for immoral behavior. Is that for me? Yeah, yeah, don't rush. Learn how to court women. Good guy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Miss Vera. Hmm. These are for you. Thank you. But today's not Teacher's Day. But you weren't with us on Teacher's Day. So we're making up for it. Please accept these as a token of our deepest respect. Right, friends? Welcome to the new classroom, teacher. Hooray! Thank you. Thanks. Where should I put them? I'll go get a vase. <laughs> thank you, Christina. Children, thank you very much. I am very pleased. I hope we will become friends. <sighs> to you who never knew me, the letter of a stranger is considered one of Zweig's best works. What is it about? It's about the selfless love of a woman. I think each of you has loved someone. Or maybe someone is still in love <laughs> with you. <laughs> There's no need to be ashamed of it. It is much worse when your heart is empty. Do you love someone? I did. But that is a finished book now. In general, a woman begins to feel like a woman only when a man appears next to her. Or more correctly, the man of her life. This is what happened to our heroine. A man appeared in her life who she loved very much. She gave birth to a son whom he never saw. Then she died. And what about him? He didn't even mention her. So don't you think that the heroine is an ideal woman in the eyes of a man? So what? She does everything herself. She came herself. She gave birth to a child herself. She solves her problems herself. A man doesn't even need to interfere. Bingo, yes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> she runs on demand, ready for a date. That's right, and not annoying. Then the question is, who do you think the heroine would be if we transfer the events to our time? A crazy fan? How the image of the heroine has depreciated, and she has pure, great love. Fans also think that everything is real. They send flowers and give birth from stars, and they go on talk shows. <laughs> <laughs> Does the actor have to remember them all by sight? So you're on the side of the hero, aren't you? What about that poor, unfortunate girl? Don't you feel sorry for her? It's her own fault. What is she guilty of? The fact that she fell in love? It's her fault that she dissolved into him so much that she forgot about herself. A woman should have pride. I understand her very well. At least she had that kind of love. Now let him regret losing such a woman. What woman? A whore? She must have been a whore if he didn't remember her. It is impossible to forget a bright woman. And I think I'll agree with Christina. It's easy to condemn a woman. A woman, of course, builds her life on her own, but someone waits all their lives for his call. 
Someone cuts the phone wire, hoping it will make them feel better. I don't know what's better, to meet a hero who will turn your life around, wake you up, and let him go, let him forget, let him leave a scar for life, but it was true love. Or live a quiet life without quarrels, shocks. I don't know. So class, homework. An alternative ending to the story as you see it. Cool bike. Oh, well, give me a ride, yeah? Of course. Oh my god, come on. I'm being careful. Did you see the way she looked at me? An alternative ending, as you see it. <laughs> she fell for me like a cat. <laughs> She's a teacher. <laughs> Who are you? Will you answer for what you said? Why me? You answer. You're telling us about your love. Yeah. I didn't say we were already in love. I said that she would be mine. In the end. Of course. You lie as often as you breathe, and you breathe often. I don't understand. What's that supposed to mean? That's right. I'm sick of your bragging. Oh, women. Oh, my But bike. you're worthless without your father. You wouldn't have a motorcycle or anything else. Why are you only paying attention to the motorcycle? Let's make a bet. I'm just picking on you because I have a reason. What are we betting on? Let's make a bet on Vera. If she is yours, you win. And if not, the bike's mine. Are you crazy? Are you scared? He's scared. Well, he was scared. Okay, it's a deal. There's nothing more beautiful in love than these quiet moments full of vague light dreams. It's nice that you quote Zweig. You haven't seen me on the horizontal bar yet. I'm very versatile. Good night. I don't think I'll be able to sleep now. I hope I'll dream about you. Good night, Vera. No matter what he says, we're cool, seriously. Oh, look, it's our mop. So, did you write a short story based on Zvig with an alternative ending? Yes, I did. Let me see it. I'll be inspired. Hmm? It. Why? It has a happy ending. Christina, what kind of happy ending? Do they get married in the end? Yes. I wish I had one. I would also really like you to have the same in your life. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Christina. Just look at what a mess this Alexi, is. Alexi, come you here. You dream come of here, come big on. and sincere love, come right? So what? It's okay, yeah. But your boobs haven't grown yet. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I'm just kidding. Come on, you're the best student, and all the best students get boobs someday. <laughs> well, however, you're more likely to get a plaque, a memorial plaque. <laughs> That's great, a memorial plaque. <laughs> Christina. Hush, hush, hush. Don't let them humiliate you. Fight back. I can't. I don't know how. Learn. 
I'm not you. You're brave. <laughs> well, you know, I... I wasn't like that before either. Life has made me strong. I found your poems in your notebook. <sighs> Christina, you are very talented. Can I? I love the sound of your name as your voice whispers at night. I am with you, my love. You say love makes my heart flutter. The poem is not yet finished. The poem is wonderful. You scared me. I didn't mean to. I don't like your behavior. What's wrong? We connect so well. We're interested in each other. Igor, I am your teacher. It's my fault. I must have misjudged this. From now on, there will be a distance between us, as there should be between a student and a teacher. You can go. How do you like your new teacher? She's very good. She's attentive. She praises my poems. What poems? You didn't show me any poems. She found it by accident in my notebook. So what? You're not gonna show me? Ira. If she wants to show you, she will. Why is that? Is Vera closer to her? Or am I missing something? Am I a bad person? It's about love. Well, it's great to talk about love. Thank you for saying that. Don't come in, and I wanted to ask if you're okay. How's the new class? Everything is fine, thank you. Vera, you haven't changed at all. I missed you so much. I think about you all the time. I still dream about you. And you? Have you been thinking about me? No. I don't believe you. Mikhailo, everything is different now. 
Excuse me, I have to go to class. Hemingway wrote, Man is not made to fail. Man can go be destroyed, but not defeated. These are the main words of the story, the old man and the sea. That is, life is a struggle. No, life is pain. <laughs> the old man defeated the fish himself. Old age, the weakness of his hands, he came out victorious. But he was a failure because the fish died. <laughs> But this hasn't broken the old man. He feels part of nature. He knows that even in the sea, a person is never alone. And he says, fish, I will not part with you until I die. <laughs> yeah, to get so stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could teach the lesson for me. Please, we'll listen to you. I don't see any point in discussing plagiarism. Plagiarism? This is his life's work. Okay. In 1936, the Esquire magazine published an article about a Cuban fisherman, Gregorio Fuentes, who went out to sea, fought a big fish for several days, and then was eaten by sharks. Does this remind you of anything, friends? Yes, yes, yes. How could this plagiarism be his life's work? He's a common thief. He drank his brains out couldn't come up with anything of his own, so he stole a story from someone else's article. Oh, you didn't know that. So maybe you're not as smart as you think you are, Miss Vera. Maybe you need to take a refresher course, huh? Ooh. That's it. The lesson's over for me. Igor. Have your parents come to the school? Today. That's easy. Hey. hey, what up? Hi, Dad. Hey, I only have 20 minutes. Where should I go? Begging you, please cover me. What happened? Uh, uh, there's Igor's father. He is there. And? Tell him I'm not here. Please. You'll own me. Hello, I'm Igor's father. I was summoned. Mm, yeah, hello. I didn't call you, but you can talk to me. I'm the head of academic Excellent. department, Miss Irina. Please come in. Uh, sit down. Igor's class teacher called in sick, so... Did Igor do something wrong? Uh, actually, Igor's behavior is not up to par. He's rude, disobedient, does not show proper respect. Are there a lot of Fs? What? Well, how are his grades? Please, open the evaluation log. Well, Igor's academic performance is very good. So the grades are good? Yeah, but- I'm sorry, I don't understand what the problem is. Igor is a smart guy. He studies well. And the rest is up to you as a teaching staff. Did you have a talk? Your teacher wasn't there. She's sick. What do you mean? I talked to the head of academic affairs. Miss Vera! 
Dad, she wanted to talk to you. She's not sick. So, you're here. Oh, uh, hello. Vadim, Igor's father. Uh, Vera. Miss Vera. Miss Vera, please tell me. Is it normal for you to pull people around like this for no reason? Uh, I don't... You take up my time. I'm dropping things. I'm going off site. For what? Yes, I'm sorry. I... You are a teacher, so educate young people. That's your job. If you can't handle it, maybe you should find another job, right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Very good, Miss Vera.